Hello friends, I'm Pancho Lozano. I'm the creator of Pancho's Cake Cooler, which is a 20 gallon water cooler that can be used as a keister to carry your homebrew or your commercial craft beer. In this case, I'm gonna show you how to tap a sixth doll, one sixth of a barrel or about a little bit over five gallons of beer on a uh, Sankey keg using my Pancho's cake cooler. Basically first, <laughs> put them in. And of course we're gonna need a Sankey tab. Now this Sankey tab is a low profile Sankey tab. Uh, I think it's class D or type D. And it has two adapters for the quick disconnects for ball um, ball keg, which that's basically what I use all the time. I guess you can you can have connectors. I don't think that there's adapters for the uh, pin uh, type of uh, OQDs. Anyway, you can also if you're not gonna use your uh, corny keg, then you can you can actually a hard wire or connect it directly and you don't have to start exchanging. Since I use a lot of uh, corny cakes and once in a while I use a Sankey cake when I run a beer, uh, which is not that often, but then I, I have my Sankey tab with my connectors and I don't have to do anything but connect my, my regular QDs into the adapters. And the black is on the top and the white, the gas one, is on the side. You remember, remember that. And I will tell you where I don't have the, the Sankey uh, tap available in my, in my uh, store, but I will tell you where to find it. I will give you the uh, serial number, the item number, er, and where, where to find it. And I, I think it's a good investment because now you, you can have both your corny keg and your Sankey keg. And right now I'm putting one sixth of a barrel, a six till, but I have used it. I, I have used my PKK, my Pancho's cake cooler, using a, a one fourth of a barrel, which is a little bit bigger. Doesn't give you a lot of space, but uh, it gives you enough space for the eyes. And the only thing it won't give you a lot of a, of a head space. So you cannot use the 1.5 tank, but you can use those uh, either 70 gram cartridges like this one, or you can use the 16 gram cartridge. Again, you just want to push the beer out. You don't want to carbonate it. So anything will work. And a uh, good thing again is that the mini regulator that I offer in the store, you can use uh, either your regular a CO2 tank, you can use 72 gram cartridge, you can use 16 gram cartridge, or you can use the paintball type um, tanks. You can use this type of tanks. So it is very versatile. I think I designed it and I selected this mini regulator because I wanna make sure that I have as many options as possible. I don't want to be in a party with one option, that option fail me, and then I'm out of beer or I'm disappointing my guests. So I'll, I'll show you how to tap the, uh, the keg now. Here I have a, a Sierra Nevada Pale Ale. I really love this beer. I have done a couple of clones and they're good, but I really like the Pale Ale from Sierra Nevada. One of my favorite brewers. I added about 15 pounds of ice to this keg. In reality, if you start with a cold keg, you only need about 10 pounds of ice. Uh, if it's very, very hot outside and you're kind of like a little bit paranoid like I am, uh, you may want to use 15 or 20 pounds. Uh, if you start with a room temperature keg, then you want to use between 15 and, no, between 20, sorry, 20 pounds of ice to start with and up to 30. And 30 pounds of ice gets you probably about halfway through. If you want to fill it out, go ahead and fill it out. Uh, that's no problem. It will keep cold for 
probably three or four days if you fill it out to the rim of the of the keg. With 20 pounds of ice, uh, I, I found that it, the ice lasts about two days and without opening, the, opening and closing the, the lid. And once you set it up, you close the lid, you don't have to mess with it. We're going to put the, uh, the Sankey keg tab. And it's very easy, basically. We'll act, pull this lever, put it down, and then twist it. That's as easy as it can get. They have some little tabs that match the tabs on, on the tap. Twist it, push it, and lock it. And that's it. Now, again, you have two connectors. The top connector is your beer. You put your beer line. And then, so one thing you want to do before putting the eyes is uh, move it to the side. That way, if you're using a small, a small uh, a 1.5 pound CO2 tank, then it will fit. And you can close the lid and you don't have to worry about it. There you go. And although it looks a little bit tight, it doesn't matter. You know, the lines don't, don't really matter. Mine. Now you just move everything and set up your regulator probably around I'm gonna say about 10 pounds to start with and see how how that looks now you want to push it a little bit and if it's too fast just reduce the the amount of pressure right now I have it about 10 psi we're gonna put it down to 5 psi and there you go that's about how I like it and I'm gonna get myself a little container And there you have it, friends. Yeah. It needs to be a little bit cooler. Once you set it up to the pressure that, that, that you want, you can just close it and let your guests serve themselves. It's as easy as that. And that's it, friends. Hopefully you like it. And you have been, if you have only used the Pancho's Cake Cooler as a mobile kisser for your corny cakes, now you know that you can use it for commercial beer as well. Um, hope you like it and cheers.